is day 18 on our sort of steadier pace practice video. And just to recap again, if you are finding all of this a little bit much these last few days, please don't give up, please don't lose hope. We're doing the same phrases that we did back in day 9 through to 12. Um, and if you want to, you can just keep that right hand going and put a simpler left hand to it or even just do the right hand. Um, you know, you do what makes you feel the most comfortable. But let's try today's stuff and we'll do it at this lovely steady speed that we've been working on in these videos. One and uh, two and... Uh... So the right hand, let's do that. I'm going to try with that grace note in, in that bar 78. So we're starting at bar 76 with this lovely bar. One and uh, two and uh, and uh, and uh. And the part there to get comfortable practicing probably would be from the end of bar 77, the last three notes, the C, D, E going up. Swapping to a finger two on the E at the beginning of bar 78, and then jumping to a one, two, three on these same three notes, but this time going down and the thumb is the grace note. And it might be that we just practice those six, seven notes there. So I'll give a count in of one ander and then we'll be in on the C, D, E at the end of bar 77. One and... Uh, and see if we can get that on time. Try that again. One and... Uh, Excellent, that's really good. Okay, so let's go back now to the beginning of this bit, bar 76, and we'll see if we can play through that, or just the right hand. One and uh, two and, uh, and, uh, and Excellent, that's really good. And then it's trying to fit this left hand with it. So we'll be all right for these first couple of bars because there's not much new in there that we haven't really done before. We've got the low A, the E, we talked about whether you can reach the C or not, and whether you can get a nice clean bass note or not. I've got hands that are comfortable with doing this, so that's fine for me. And I've still got a nice bend on my fourth finger, which means I can cleanly play that A without bashing into the next string. You do what works for you to have the cleanest sound. Ooh, right, we're going to just do these two bars for a second. Bar 76. One and uh, two and... Uh. And... Uh. Okay, so we're quite comfortable with that. We then have the bar 78 where we do the... the left hand to fit with that. The left hand is playing three different E's. We've got the two at the bottom, so we've got an octave stretch and we can do that with a thumb and a four. And they're relatively quick because that first note is just a quaver, so boom, boom. Okay, that's fine. And then we're jumping up to the E near middle C. So it's three E's and it's coming in in the right place with that. I say three E's because you'll see that that little semi-quaver is tied to the crotchet, so it's just one note that we play. We just play that E once. If you find yourself wanting to play it more than once, maybe draw a little line through the crotchet that it's tied to. Okay, so I'm going to play straight on bar 78, but just that bar for the moment. And we'll just hear how that grace note has to come before the beat, and so the D the second quaver D is going to land with my low E and then how it carries on to the B A G in the top hand and this E in our left hand has to come between the B and the A so that's what you'll hear here one and uh, two and uh... okay so 
So we'll try that again if you'd like to join in, that's great. E in the top hand, E octave in the left hand. One and uh, two and... Uh, lovely, that's really good. And just notice how my top hand, as I cross over and I get my fingers on, I bring my whole hand down with it. So I'm not reaching out for notes, I've taken my whole hand with it and that's why we have our elbow out and it keeps us really free to move. Okay, one more time, just that bar 78. One and uh, two and... Uh, And this time we're going to carry on. So when we've done that B, A, G at the end of bar 78, we go back on to A and C, and then three in a row down. That's all stuff that we've done before in this passage. We did that back on day 10, um, and on day 12 as well, we did that ending. So that's relatively comfortable, I hope. What we're adding in to that last bar is an A, one of those, that A shape, the A octave, so an A at either end, one and four, and finger two sitting on the E in the middle. And I talked in the teaching video about how we've got our squiggle, squiggly line telling us to play it as a rolled chord, but then it's got the arrowhead at the bottom, so we're doing it as a downward rolled chord. So one, two, four, and we do that as fast as we can. And it's the lowest note in this case, because it's the last note, whichever way it goes. The last note is the one that has to be on the beat. So we anticipate it before the beat and land with the A on the beat. So the best way to do this is to put the two bars together um, because otherwise we're not sure what we're stealing it from and where we're going from. We need to feel the full beat. So bar 78 hands together is what I'm going to play now. One and uh, two and... Uh, Be honest there I almost anticipated it a little bit too much so we'll do that again if you want to join in this time you'd be very welcome one and uh, two and uh okay let's put it all together from bar 76 one sorry I'll get on the right notes one and uh, two and uh, and uh. well done that's really good and then just to finish I'm going to go back to what we did yesterday on day 17 and put those two bits all together so that you've got something to try and play along to and feed them both into each other. It may take a bit of practice to put them in and remember what we did yesterday, but I think you'll be fine. One and uh, two and... Uh at a fairly mezzo forte to forte, a decent volume really. Um, we want a bit of strength behind it. Well done, good work.